Howdy, I'm switching to a different lens today because I wanted to talk about something uh, a little bit up close and personal, and that is the mulberry tree. So, as you can see right here, we have a few red berries just started. Those are native Texas red mulberries. Now, not a lot is known about the mulberry tree anymore, but it used to be a very common tree. Um, one of the things uh, that you would see on a fully ripe mulberry would be something that looks like a blackberry, except it's not on a vine, it's on a tree. You can see these leaves right here. Um, some of the larger ones uh, has pretty common shape. There are some other trees that look similar to it, but not identical. Something that's uncommon about the mulberry leaf, uh, the smaller ones that are fresh. Let me show you one about the right size right here. These are actually edible. Humans can eat these. So that mulberry leaf right there, all right, doesn't taste like much of anything. It's not exactly a salad green, but it's high in nutrition. Uh, it's a really bad idea to eat the larger leaves. You don't want to eat the larger ones because they could have, um, you know, the essentially uh, mineral content that's too high for human consumption. Although mulberry leaves are used very frequently uh, as chicken feed. So any size mulberry leaf could be used as chicken feed. Now I'm going to show you a subtle difference. Um, this is not a native mulberry tree. This is a white mulberry tree and it's originally from China. One of the slight differences is when it's new leaves come out, they're not that perfect spade shape. They do frequently have some divots or imperfections in them. So the new leaves that come out on a white mulberry tree don't often have that perfect symmetry. Now let me show you some of these white mulberries right here. These are just exactly the same flavor. In fact, you can't tell the difference in a blind taste test, but the white mulberry uh, Unfortunately, in a lot of states, it's considered an invasive species. Now, I've spoken with the uh, Ag Extension in a few counties, and they do not consider, by and large, they do not consider uh, the white mulberries to be an invasive species. Even though they originated in China, they are still uh, acceptable to plant. Now, I've taken a lot of these up to the farm, uh, mostly all red mulberries. One of the things you can do with a, uh, a ripe mulberry is you can actually crush it up and get the little seeds out of it and plant those seeds. And they're very, very hardy. They will take in just about any kind of soil. Whether they make it a whole year or not, it's hard to say. Uh, if your conditions are just right, they will flourish though. Let me show you one more little red mulberry tree. Uh, that's typically what you get early in the spring this time of year. So what you want to watch out for again, if you're trying to tell the difference, is this perfect spade shape, all right, on a mulberry that's native to death. To text imperfections in this shape, non symmetrical, that's a white mulberry. So, thanks for tuning in again, guys, and whatever you grow, enjoy the heck out of it.